<laughs> I'm Nash. And I'm Shahar. Yeah. And today we have some very special guests. Corey and Ira from, from Mojo Marketing Video. And these are two very smart cookies. For you to have an idea, Ira has been an entrepreneur for over 40 years. He was in the, in the car industry before. And Corey, I didn't know that about him. He was a scientist in a former life and a gymnast, right? And you guys got together, became good friends, and started this amazing company, right? You have some very amazing clients out there. Tell me guys a little bit more about you. Okay, well, thanks so much. We're excited, uh, ladies, to be on your amazing show. And uh, we have clients actually in, right now, probably over 30 countries. Uh, we work with uh, companies of all sizes, um, from small solo entrepreneurs to uh, Gannett that owns USA Today, that small, small startup little Company, we're about to work with um, a company called Sales Gravy. Um, we are uh, working with um, just every a lot of uh, coaches, a lot of authors, a lot of speakers, a lot of marketing consultants that have agencies. Uh, who else, Corey? Well, yeah, and you know, we um, what's funny about all this is that even though we've got really large clients now, when we first started out, we didn't know anything about video. Uh, we we start out with just shooting video with a nice little flip camera and that um, that led to so many other things I mean that point it was just guerrilla video and I think he froze that's because yes. of the that's because the cold temperatures around the country right now yes I can <laughs> see I can see you guys wearing sweaters and I'm thinking what's going on you guys are in Arizona yeah it, it got down to 59 last night so it's pretty chilly no. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I hope Corey thaws out and, more, and joins us here. But absolutely, we um, in the beginning, Corey had a flip camera that he got for his birthday, and I, you know, I barely knew how to use it, and we struggled with video in the beginning like crazy. But it's been a, a quite an interesting journey, and uh, just one of the, in the first year, all we did was go to networking events because we really didn't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. And everything had changed so much. So we were going to one or two local events every day, which is a lot of people to follow up on. So then we had to create a follow-up program, and we decided to use video with it. It was a software. And that was our first real product uh, that we implemented into Mojo, into the, all the different um, uh, things we brought to the, to the marketplace. Uh, Corey, are you with us here? There he is. There Corey? he is. You can never rely 100% on technology. Can oh, you? there's Corey. <laughs> Corey was frozen in time. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, good. So, Corey, you were talking to us that, that when you started, you really didn't know much about video. You had a flip camera, and then Ira uh, said that you, from that, you guys created a software, and that was really your first product, correct? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And so, you know, we learned from uh, In the Trenches Marketing. We just realized at the onset that video was going to be huge, and the reason we knew that is because we, you know, we went to all these networking events. We started really just very grassroots, and um, we met all these people at these networking events. But we quickly realized that the fortunes in the follow-up, and if you don't follow up with everybody, then you're not going to be able to close deals because you don't have the relationship. And so what we decided to do is like, how do we how do we follow up with people but get them to remember us? How do we stick inside their brain? Right. And so we started sending little videos, little videos that said, hey, it was nice meeting you at the event and you know, looking forward to chatting more with you. Um, there's some more details, some more free stuff we want to give you. And so that's what we did. And it was short little 30-second videos we'd follow up with and then we'd follow up with an automated video campaign that would go out just building relationships with people and basically telling them a little bit more about us and so that's kind of what led to that is just wanting to stand apart wanting to do things differently wanting to attract the right kind of people and to do it all through video and that's why you know we love what you guys do because you know it's all about the neuroscience it's yeah. it's about tapping into somebody's brain and getting them to to uh, take action on whatever you're offering so that's so I'm glad we're talking and, and that was the start of what Mojo did and what Mojo created that was actually our first software that's 
that's the one we've been promoting for about four years now and we now have amazingly I mean we've got clients in 22 different countries using that software and uh, and so we started looking at other aspects of you know our clients kept wanting to fill their software their CRM their video CRM with more leads uh -huh. and so that was kind of paved the way for what we're really going to talk about today which is is LinkedIn because we're we're big on figuring out what works and what doesn't work, and we'll spend a you know a, a good amount of money on something just to see if we can get something to to attract leads for us for our business, and uh, that's actually kind of how we we started looking at LinkedIn, isn't that Ira? Absolutely, because we tried everything like most people, uh, from SEO to Facebook ads to. Um, uh, PPC and on and on and on speaking live events um, and we we kept and they worked okay but um, one of the things because I was in the auto industry I had you know a, a series of new car uh, dealerships and leasing companies uh, the days of print TV radio where we spent literally millions uh, on to drive traffic to those dealerships uh, that model is pretty much broken right now because people have to rethink everything I mean the gap between people doing really well for entrepreneurs and those that are just getting along is gonna really widen this year because the people that have dialed in on their on their lead gen is gonna be amazing uh, because it's a steady flow but what we did was we discovered LinkedIn kind of by accident and the more we found out about the more excited we got and we realized that if we just kinda tweaked a few things we'd be able to load our calendar up every day not talk to two or three people a week but how about five six seven eight people a day each one of us Corey and myself separately so we we're doing we're talking to more people in a day than a lot of business owners would in say a month or even two months and so we really we stumbled across something and we thought wow we are really leveraging our time here to the max and so that's then we created software that would automate that whole process yeah, that, that's very impressive because on our first moment, we, we, you know, like me, for example, when I go to LinkedIn, it's a very dry environment, right? But yeah. you guys have this cool technique of making this really work. So tell me more about it. Uh, Corey, go ahead. Yeah, and, and I'll, you know, I'll preface it with this. I mean, we started looking at LinkedIn really because we saw the statistics. And, you know, t we found out that the average salary on Twitter was $58,000. Okay, for the leads we were going after. The average salary on Facebook was $61,000. And then we looked at LinkedIn and the average salary was, was over $112,000. And we just had a light bulb moment at that point. We're like, wow, this is double, easily double of what's going on on these other social media platforms. So we wanted to know how do we tap into that? How do we do that? How do we make that work? Because there is absolutely there's a gold mine in LinkedIn, and and the majority of people really don't know what they're doing as far as LinkedIn. Um, they're they're kind of doing the same old things, right? There's there's typically four things that people do when it comes to LinkedIn, right? They're um, they're getting on their profile and they're they're updating their profile, right? That's one of the things that they're doing. Uh, the next, they're making connection requests, you know. They might be also sending a couple messages here and there. And if they're more advanced, they might be doing some discussions in some of the groups. And that's about it. That is the majority of what most people are doing with LinkedIn. And the reason they haven't really done more with LinkedIn is because they don't know how to generate leads with it. And, it, and you know what? That's, that's reasonable because in the beginning, we didn't know how to generate leads on LinkedIn. This is something that took a lot of time and energy and effort for us. In fact, we we, do, we dove into LinkedIn. We spent about $5,000 a month at a minimum just to figure out how do you start generating leads on it. So we were trying all these different methods and we realized that, the, that there's one main thing that you can do when it comes to LinkedIn. And uh, we, we figured it out and we, we honed in on it we made it work time and time we kind of started perfecting it and we were like wow this is this is pretty incredible this is actually working really really well 
And so what we did, because we're big on systems, right? If you want to have a very scalable business model, uh, something that makes it so that way you can have robots and, and systems do processes for you rather than you have to do it yourself because even though the method was working, we were still spending, you know, we, we had a team of people, but we were, we were spending anywhere from four to six hours a day doing the method, right? And that would put us in front of, you know, 100, 200 people a day, new people, but it still took time. And so what we're big on is, is creating those systems and, and leveraging technology in order to do things faster. And so we did what we did before when we found something that worked really well is, and we created a software that did it. And it, it worked out so fabulous. And, you know, software is, you know, it can be very difficult to create and, and put together. Um, but after it was all done, I mean, it's amazing. What our software does now is it finds it finds 100 new prospects on LinkedIn and sends them a direct message. Wow. And it's it's pretty incredible. I mean, you're talking about getting in front of, hun you know, 100 new prospects a day. And we're not talking about, you know, prospects that don't want to do anything, right? We're talking about prospects that are generating, on average, $112,000 in annual salary, at least. So these are high-quality prospects. And, for instance, one of the things that you can do in our software is actually find who you're looking for, right? So let's just say your target market is CEOs, right? Or it could be anybody. It could be the marketing director. It could be the human resources executives, right? It could be pretty much anybody that you're looking for, whether you're looking for dentists or lawyers or executives or, you know, people in contracting or realtors. That's what I love about LinkedIn. You can find literally anybody on there. And it's the only uh, website out there that I know that serves up those that kind of details, mm -hmm. right? So like Shahar, I mean, if you're looking for somebody like a CEO of a, a Fortune 500 company, if you went to Facebook, I mean, could you ever really find that information just perusing around Facebook? No, no, you wouldn't, because even if you use the paper click on Facebook, there's only so much you can do with that. And, and you know, one point that you said that is extremely good is you research uh, the average income of three different social networks. Right, and then you made the strategic decision. Okay, LinkedIn is where the money is, and we, as entrepreneurs, we need to follow the money. Right? Doesn't matter that we like more to be on another environment. We need to follow the money. So that's fantastic. Uh, now you have to tell me how you use this software uh, inside LinkedIn, because okay, that's perfect. super exciting. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, so, so here's what it does at the end of the day. Um, our software uses, uh, basically what it does is it every day and at the end of, when you get it all set up, it's super, super duper easy. I mean, all you got to do is press one little button and this thing is going to go out there and do what it does and, and, and be in front of 100 new prospects. But what it does is it finds 100 new people within your target market, right? So let's just say you're looking for the CEO uh, or just CEOs, right? Um, so you can put in CEO in a little box and it's going to go out there and find people that put CEO in their title. Uh, the next thing that it's going to do is you can even geolocate people, which means uh, let's say you're looking for people in, in New York, right? And those are your best prospects. So that's where you're at, so you want to prospect there. Then you can click on a little button that says New York. Or even more specifically, you can click on little buttons that, that say what city do you want to go after. So if you want to go after you know, Albany, New York, you just click on Albany and you're just going after people um, that, that are from Albany within LinkedIn. So it's pretty incredible because not only can you find the perfect target market as far as like CEOs or executives or HR people, uh, you can also just you know, geolocate it and find specifically just the region that you're looking for. And then what it does uh, is, is it starts sending messages. So you put a, a subject line in there, you put a message in there, and you hit the, the send button, and boom, it's just going to find all these people really quickly. And then over the course of you know, maybe an hour, maybe two hours, it's just going to send messages specifically to those ones that fit into your parameters. So it's, it's pretty amazing. And, and honestly, 
out of all the things that we have found that you can do on LinkedIn, this, you know, sending direct messages to people that are specific to who you are looking for is the best way to monetize LinkedIn hands down. There's no other way that we found that works better, wouldn't you say, Ira? Absolutely. Um, I was telling an entrepreneur yesterday, uh, I said, find me something better than what we're doing right now and I'll buy it for you, I'll buy it for us, and uh, we'll all sing Kumbaya. Uh, so <laughs> it's, uh, this, is, this is amazing. Here's what's happened here. We have literally cracked the code on LinkedIn. Uh, lot, we get invited to many, many big conferences because the person who puts the conference on will, will help them load up people in the audience through LinkedIn, and then we get to speak. What a great, what a great tool. But it is amazing because most people will spend two to four hours a day on you know, prospecting. At least they should be. And so what you can do is, because 90% of our day is completely non-revenue producing, and if people don't believe that statement, go right to Timothy Ferris's four-hour work week. And so that's his the cornerstone message of that of that book is that our day is just really filled with non-revenue things. So instead of taking that four hours a day of prospecting, you flip the switch, and now 90% of your day is revenue producing because that four hours you're spending chasing dead end leads, you're on the phone or meeting face to face, and you're you're doing business, and that's when it gets really interesting because uh, just recently, Forbes magazine, Fortune magazine, and Inc., all three of them did cover feature stories on LinkedIn being the number one social media platform on the planet, period, end sentence. That's, I mean, nobody can dispute that, and that's, and you, you talked about going to the right platforms, um, Shahar, is it's like, we always talk about how you've got to go. You got to go fishing where the fi the big fish are, because sure. we've all had this experience. Nash, I know you've had this experience where uh, you spend all this time uh, working to get in front of somebody. Maybe it's three months, maybe it's six months, and they love you. They love your product. They want to work with you. Everything is wonderful, but at the very end, they don't have any money. And how discouraging is that? So. You think you're pulling out a big, big fish, and at the end of the hook, you see a little baby minnow or a, uh, you know, you see, this little guppy. <laughs> I see a little guppy. And so you got to switch ponds, and you've got to recalibrate your marketing. And if you're using old school, antiquated uh, marketing, which is a broken model, you just you're doomed for uh, you're doomed for failure. I call it business suicide. So you've got to get in. You got to be in front of it, and lead gen is the number one pain point for every entrepreneur. I don't care how great your product is. I don't great I care how great your service is. Ninety percent of success of a business right now has nothing to do with how great you are or your products. It's all about three things: marketing, marketing, and of course, then there's marketing. Um, yes. And, I'm, and Shahar, I'm sure you would agree with all that. And Nash. I do. I, I think that's why we, we always, uh, you know, since the very first meeting, we connected all of us because not only we also started grassroots, but we kind of have the same mindset. Because, you know, I think the four of us, we have this mission to stop insanity. <laughs> we just came back from another conference, and in one of the sessions, there was this girl. She's pretty well known online, but she was saying that she spends an average of 17 hours a day on social network. And she was saying that she does this, she does that, and then she said, and sometimes I question if it's worth. And I was in my seat saying, stop, this is insanity. How can you be doing something that you cannot track, that you cannot generate leads, that you cannot wow. have measurable results out of that? I mean, it's yeah. just crazy. I, right? I know, and we see this all the time. And so if that woman were sitting here right now, we all probably would want to just shake her and say, woman, use automation, not just raw determination. You've got to automate, you've got yeah. to scale, you got to multiply. Because look at Henry Ford with um, his you know, Ford Motor Company. What would have happened had he decided he, ne he didn't want to create an assembly line? Mm -hmm. And he just said, I'm going to drink a lot of coffee and Red Bull every morning 
and I'm just going to work really, really fast. I'll make as many carbs as I can. Well, there, you know, obviously we know the outcome of that. So you nowadays anybody who's you know seven figures on up, or you know, say six figures even, mm -hmm. they have learned how to leverage their intellectual property, their ideas, their talents, their gifts, and and the internet, and and and, and multiply it because David Fagan, who we all know, talks about the law of multiplication. The law of multiplication is is critically important to be successful. If you take a penny and double it every day for a month, you've got five million dollars. And so people have to think a little bit differently about their marketing and a lot of times just that one degree difference. 212 degrees is the temperature of boiling water that produces steam that will power a city. At 211 degrees you got hot water. And most people are like one degree away from greatness. And That's I'm great. sure you guys see this all the time. But we love what you guys are doing because, you know, the neuroscience, you know, it's all about um, triggering dopamine in the brain. And when you have the right messages, what happens is you make people feel a certain way. And when we're messaging out on LinkedIn, it's all about building that relationship, building that trust. Uh, there's 15 different ways to market on LinkedIn. And so it has to be a very soft, soft approach because it's a different kind of animal. And so one of the things we've done is we've actually put on our team our amazing copywriters. And for the first month, we actually work with the client every week, one-on-one, -on -one, do for you slash do with you, so that we hold their hand. Because if we just give people software, I know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. We call it shelf help. They put it on their shelf and they stare at it. Nothing and they go happens. buy something else and put it on their shelf. And so I'm sure, uh, and Corey, I'm sure you would concur with that. Well, yeah. And so what? Here's what we decided to do because we actually created the software for ourselves. And in the end, that's always what we decide to do. We find something that works and we decide to automate it and create a software around it. But we mostly do it for ourselves. And then we typically find out that. Other people want it and they need it. And so in the beginning, we're like, well, you know, we're just going to keep this to ourselves. Uh, it's our own little secret weapon that we're using, and it, it worked phenomenally. And then, you know, we had all these clients that came to us and, like, you know what, guys, this is, uh, I, I want to know how to get more leads into this funnel. I'm using your other software. How do I fill it with more people? And so we actually, you know, we felt kind of bad just keeping it to ourselves. We're like, wow, this would help so many other people. And so, we created um, an opportunity for people to actually use the software and we open it up, we call it the Lead Mastermind and Lead Mastermind members really get to use the software. They also get our strategies. They get, they get us helping them write their prospecting letter, right? Because, I mean, honestly, you could write um, all kinds of different prospecting letters and get very little results, right? Almost none if you don't do it the right way, right? It's, it's kind of like why, why you guys work with your clients to really help them tap into their prospects' brains on an even better way because uh, if they just try to do it themselves, the results wouldn't be anywhere near as close as they right. could be. So that's why we work with our clients and really help them do that. And we've had some phenomenal success stories. Like um, there's one gal. You guys might know her, but her name's Sabrina Gibson. She's uh, she's been at some of the events that you've been at, and she you know she actually used our software. And on her launch day, she sent out 45. Uh, she sent out 100 messages, and she got back 45 people to say uh, to respond back to her social media consultation she was going to provide for them. That's wow. that's awesome. I mean, Nash, if you, you know, if you were if you were doing this and all you had to do was click a button and all of a sudden you got 45 responses, I mean, how awesome would that be, you know, for people that want to meet with you? Yeah, exactly. Sign me up. Exactly. <laughs> because people don't realize that you think oh, at a first moment it's like, oh, just 45 people. Well, out of 100, that's a huge conversion rate. It's huge. Yeah. You just have to duplicate that and you'll get more. Yeah, exactly. And so she's doing, that's like, uh, that was one day. That was one day. I mean, every day that she does this, she consistently gets those kinds of results. And we're talking about every single day, it's brand new people. These aren't the same people that you're sending messages to. So every day is a new opportunity to go do that. We've had some clients that say they get, they get so addicted to, to using this thing that they, 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 if they can't do it, they can't, for some reason, they can't push that button for that day. It, they, they know it hurts their business. Mm -hmm. 
we've got another guy. He does um, he does marketing, and he sent out messages uh, to lawyers and attorneys. And really, in the first week, he got 42 of them to message him back to take advantage of his offer. And they were even sending him their cell phones and, and all that. And, you know, what's incredible about this is you get right past the gatekeepers, right? Yeah. Look, yeah you look at any attorney office. I don't know any attorney office that doesn't have one gatekeeper or more than one just to prevent, you know, that that person, you know, anybody from getting to the attorney because they're super focused, right? They're billing at hourly rates of $250, $400, $500 an hour and so their time is very precious and so this allows you to get right past the gatekeeper and get in front of that perfect prospect because, you know, everybody looks at their LinkedIn, it's kind of like their special little network. I mean, you know, like, Shahar, how many emails do you get a day, would you say? Do you know? Uh, well, I I get in the hundreds, Corey. The hundreds, yes. <laughs> and on LinkedIn, if you take a look at it, it's a much different scenario because the messages that you're getting, it might be a handful. It might be, you know, only a couple. And so, and and because people trust LinkedIn so much, because it's they've, LinkedIn's done a really fabulous job of raising the level, the quality of the people on there and also the quality of the interactions and really kind of shielding a, a lot of their people the, the you know it's it, they're you're not going to have somebody who gets a lot of linkedin messages so they're going to really respond back because they really truly trust linkedin so it's it's fabulous and you know we've got all kinds of case studies people that you know like we had one gal who just started her business and uh, she's a recruiter and she's going into technology companies it companies and placing um, placing those individuals into projects, right? Something that they all want, right? They went to school, they got their degrees, they're working on technology, they want to be placed into really cool, fabulous projects. So she sends out 100 messages a day. Most days she gets up to 80% response, wow. which is incredible. I'd never even heard of that. I didn't even think that was possible, okay. you know, because on average, I mean, we're looking for 10% response. If you get 10% response, that's still very good, but to see very like good. something like yeah. Email, email will give you usually 2% response. Right, yeah. Right? If it's a yeah. good copy. And compared to, say, direct mail, which yeah. is typically yeah, less than 1%. 1%. Yeah, absolutely. So these are like, um, these are amazing statistics we're seeing. And, you know, on average, it's, it's usually, you know, about around 10%. But we've had some phenomenal uh, results for different clients. It just depends on the market and the message. And so we're really big on what's going to create the best amount of return on results and so we work with our clients on it we get excited about it because we want our clients to have the most fabulous experience possible so uh, but I, I gotta tell you just doing it every day and just hitting that button it's it, it's the easiest thing we've ever done for our business and for many of the businesses that we've worked for absolutely and a huge leverage of your time now yeah. Corey I've seen your presentation and I, I know exactly how the software works but we don't have enough time to go into that today so I I know people have questions they want to see more about it how can they get in touch with you guys what they have to do next okay perfect so here's um I want everybody to write this down because we've got actually an extended video that um, that goes through a lot of details we we couldn't cover here awesome. and it also gives you the opportunity to get on actually a, a live webinar as well where we walk you through it and um, we even show you how to do it for free for your own company uh, which is fabulous so uh, I want you guys to, to grab your pen and I want you to write this down this is probably one of the most important links that you will uh, that you will go to all year and uh, it's mojovideomarketing.com Okay, so write that down, mojovideomarketing.com slash lead, L-E-A-D, hyphen video, okay? It's a very special link for you guys. Make sure you write that down, mojovideomarketing.com slash lead hyphen video, and go to it and check that out. It's got all kinds of phenomenal information on it, plus a chance to get on a webinar and learn all the details you will need about LinkedIn and, and how to use the software and, and how to really take advantage of it. So, uh, but thank you so much, Shahar and Nash, for for ha you know having us uh, educate people uh, on this because we're so passionate about it because we've done things the hard way when it comes to mm -hmm. business. 
Yeah, right. so did we, and that's important because we have learned through hard knocks that mm -hmm. time is our most precious asset. So we need to automate in order to leverage time. And of course, like you said, go where the money is, right? Mm -hmm. yep. We are going to put that link on our show notes so people can access that. And really go and look at the presentation because when you see really the dynamics of the software, how it works totally safe, you are going to see that is a no brainer. Right, and why not use that? Because LinkedIn is an amazing opportunity. We all know that. I just think that many people think, yeah, but it's not as fun as some other network. But the fact is, business is there, and we need to go after that business. Mm -hmm. So, thank you very much, guys. Uh, any final words that you want to to say? Well, I just want to thank both of you, and you know, every time I've watched the two of you um, give your presentation on stage it just gets better and better and it's I'm always educated and I'm always inspired and I'm always entertained by both of you and what you guys are doing is just so amazing and um, and that's where we all connected up because you guys are so passionate uh, and we are as well and that's where I think all the synergy came from mm -hmm. but I just want to thank you both I'm just really um, I'm really excited that we're working back and forth and collaborating and I know Corey and I were just really excited about this uh, Google Hangout, right, Corey?